Hello my beautiful Geminis, happy birthday. Welcome to all new visitors. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you're going to enjoy your time here. And uh, welcome back to all my new subscribers. And thank you to all of those who entered the contest for a 20 minute phone reading with me by subscribing liking and commenting on a video. Sharing is also appreciated. So let's get started. This is Will My Ex Return? And here we go. This just flipped over. Chop wood, Gemini. Chopping wood. That is doing the work. Regeneration. You may have to let something die. You may have to, and look at that even looks like that's burnt wood, right? That's a tree that's burned. Something that was healthy and alive that just went crisp and uh, the chopping wood so very interesting here let's see that's very scorpionic energy okay so what else what else is a general energy for this x return reading the fates the fates is actually all about accepting a person for who they are and that destiny brought you together and whatever you learn you will learn um, but very interesting starting energy given the fact that we now have, we are the sharp tip of the spear, Gemini. I too am in Gemini. We have Mercury in Gemini coming up in the next few days that will then go retrograde. We have Venus retrograde in Gemini. We have a lunar eclipse in our seventh house of relationships. We have a lot going on in the Scorpio, Scorpio house of endings and beginnings. And we have the North Node. We are the stars of the universe right now. We are the cutting edge. We're the leading edge of where society is going because we can figure the things out and make neighborhoods friendlier because we rule neighborhoods. And right now we see neighborhoods in utter chaos. So as pertaining to your love life, will my ex return? We have, these are the five cards that fell out. I'm gonna take them in the order. So this is, your person feels very much that you are capable, you're powerful, you are beautiful, you can take care of yourself. They feel as though they have stabbed you in the back and betrayed you in a way that makes them sort of, you see this sort of dead man floating, right? They feel as though there's no coming back. The, pay, the Three of Pentacles says that you probably worked together, collaborated together, but there's something, there's an alchemy in this work environment, something that the two of you create together that's very powerful and compelling, and it compels both of you to come together again. The moon card indicates that there have been many secrets in this relationship and the page of pentacles also indicates that a small offer will be made in the near future. We're going to clarify the cards, okay, so, and we're going to see what this person's going to do in the near future. They do think that they are not a comeback kid, but they feel compelled to do it. They're, the secrets are something we really need to delve into and we will. Six of Pentacles means that this person wants to give you more than they have in the past. The High Priestess indicates that you they do feel you intuitively. They feel your energy. There is an energy exchange going on between the two of you. Um, this indicates that they're intuitive but Geminis are very psychic and intuitive also. The devil card energy says that there is a passion that is so hot and so intense that it is hard to deny. You are soulmates, minor arcana soulmates. So, and I'll, I'll go over the energies, the signs momentarily of who, who's on the board here. All right, and then I'm looking at this card that flipped over. All right, Eight of Swords, your person is feeling as though they are in a prison of their own making and they don't know what to do at this time. So I don't see them taking action right now. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are. Okay, Gemini, Gemini, what is going on? So what is it that needs to be taken care of here? What needs to be cleaned up? So let's look at this energy of 
it looks like a broom, right? But it actually is chopping wood. Okay, so we want to see four into a six, so we need stability. And that is one absolute requirement of the relationship. All right, so why is that card here? Why is it here? Uh, Knight of Wands, somebody has been in and out, so time to clean that up. Time to cut that out of your life, Gemini. Absolutely, no more. And why is this person Knight of Wands? Energy, they want a victory. Ooh, I do not like that card in love. I do not like that card in love because it's about conquest. It's about a notch in the belt. That's, um, you know, it's, it can mean engagement, but not with Knight of Wands energy. It does show, though, on a more positive note, that when you work together, because the Three of Pentacles energy is here, that whatever you create is knock your socks off valuable in the world at large. So it's an interesting card. This person really wants to work with you because they feel as though you elevate them to a higher level of success. So that card of conquest doesn't look like a personal conquest because the passion is hotter than the hinges of hell. Okay, so this passion off the charts, but they do get a victory just by associating with you. That victory and that sort of almost cockiness though is related to what they think that they can give you. All right, Queen of Pentacles is the clarifier for regeneration. We all know that Pentacles energy is all about building a life together. That is about really uh, putting yourself into it. This is Capricorn energy as is the devil energy. So the two of you are obsessed and renovation actually, this may sound very strange, but Scorpio, I often compare, people freak out over the death card, right? Okay, freak out, no, don't freak out. The death card is when you rip out an old kitchen to put in a new one, you want something better. So there is a very strong building aspect that you have with this person for those for whom I'm reading and this resonates. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, you all know the score. But the regeneration card with Capricorn energy, that is, and with this energy, with the Three of Pentacles, is builder-like energy. This means that whatever brought you together was most likely, it could have even been like home improvements, renovations, it could have been any situation where the two of you went into a decimated situation and you figured out how to make it blossom, grow, and beautify it. The Two of Cups says that you fell in love with that process with one another. The Ace of Swords says that the fates brought you together and the clarifying card is they brought you together to show one another deep love. All right. Interesting cards that the creative aspect here was a compelling force. And it is a life force because when we look at astrology, we're looking at fifth house. Life force is... Uh, making babies, but it's also making art, it's building, it's creating, it's Leo energy. So on the deck here, as I call it, on deck we have Virgo energy. The Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. Uh, being all up in our heads, we know about that, right? Okay, the Three of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. The Moon card is Pisces. The Page of Pentacles is um, Virgo energy. We have the Six of Pentacles, which is um, not Virgo, not Capricorn, Taurus energy, sorry, Taurus energy. High Priestess is Tor uh, Cancerian energy. The Devil card is Capricorn. The Two of Cups is Cancer. And the Eight of Swords is Gemini, okay? So that's what we have for energy. Again, we have, I think, Scorpio. We have Sagittarius is about the fates. That's just luck having brought you together. And that uh, chopping wood is very much Virgo energy to me. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify this. Why is a nine of pentacles here the king of pentacles? So the Taurus king, the Taurus king, and I often see Virgos as the king of pentacles. They're so methodical. 
I see a lot of that energy, but technically it's Taurus, which is also about wealth building, about creating abundance for yourself. Taurus is a natural ruler of the earned income house, the money house, and both of you are very well versed, but it does look like the King of Pentacles is typically a married man, okay? Uh, why is the Ten of Swords here? Why does this person feel as though they have betrayed you? Ah, uh, Seven of Swords. They were not honest with you. They, they basically, this is kind of a stalking card. Look at this card. Look at this. I mean, it's, this person clearly wants something. You know, it's, it's almost a card of a thief. It's, um, it really indicates that they follow your social media. It would be the Page of Swords, which we always joke about as being the spy card on steroids. But I don't like this. This moon up here, this moon over here. Okay. So the Three of Pentacles, what is it that they want to build with you? What is? What do they want to build with you? This is kind of an obsessive thing also. They may drive by your house at night. They may be trying to see if you date other people, if you're connected to others. Okay, so here we go. We're going to pull this card out. Page of Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. It looks like this, no matter what skill set somebody has, and it looks like they're very skilled at what they do, they are a lightweight emotionally. The Page of Cups is like when pigs fly, there's a tiny little pig with wings. And whatever they offer you is typically not going to be something that they can follow through on. All right. So let's see why the moon card is here. Why is the moon card here? What is hidden? What is hidden in this relationship for our beautiful Gemini friends? What is hidden that Gemini needs to know, Spirit? What is hidden that Gemini needs to know? All right. The death card. So there has been an ending in their life that they have not told you about. There is another way to interpret this, and that would be that the moon being the subconscious mind, okay, in, in uh, astrology, it's Piscean, it's what you imagine, also is the ruler, the moon card rules cancer, which is motherhood, okay? So it does show that a death a physical death of somebody close to them in the past. And ooh, look at what just popped out. It flew out when I wasn't asking for a card. It shows that there's something about the family life that is not revealed and somebody's death, even the death of a mother or a parent could have affected this person. Uh, or even the abandonment of a mother or a parent could have affected this person in a way that uh, makes that it difficult for them to connect. All right. The eight of co coins just popped on my arm, and that is going to clarify the page of pentacles, which is a small offer. So this does look like it is probably a work-related uh, relationship. There's something very, there's a lot of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Oh, so we have we have eight, nine, and ten. So it does show that this person also may harbor the secret fantasy that they have not told you about leaving a marriage and coming to you to create the Ten of Pentacles with you since we have eight, nine, and ten. So different scenarios, and again, in a general reading, you are supposed to take that which applies to you and accept it and just disregard the rest. Okay, so the Six of Cups has popped up here under the Fallen cards, so I'm going to use that to clarify the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Sixes and Six, okay, so that's Six and Six is 12, One and Two is Three, so numeral, numeral, in numerology, <laughs> Uh, we get people working together and wanting, that's how this relationship, oh, this person's going to come back to you and they're too afraid to offer you anything emotionally. So emotionally, they're a lightweight. They're not going to really, really make an offer that's very emotional because they can't do it. They feel as though they can't give you what you need, that somehow they have failed you and they are obsessed physically with you. 
Look at how beautiful this is. I mean, this is a beautiful person. So there's something about the sheer physicality of the relationship that makes them sort of afraid, really, to, to sort of approach you. They're, they feel very defensive, but they want, they want to. They really want to. Okay, why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Oh, look at that. High priestess. Again, eight of swords, eight of swords. They feel your energy. They really feel your energy. Gemini, this is you. You know, this is you. This is, this is them. You both feel absolutely, utterly in your head. Why do you both feel in, you're in your head so much? The Ten of Wands. There we have two tens. The cycle might be closing out. It isn't okay. So what cycle is closing out? Wow, the devil energy. The world card says that you may from, be from different cultures, different races, different countries. It could be, you know, anything like that. Seven of Cups also says with that devil energy that there's instability due to other choices. The justice card could be making a decision, making a decision about a possible beginning, ending and beginning as we see over here. So there are a couple storylines. Pick up whatever one applies and resonates with you. Why is the devil card, why is this devil energy so powerful? Queen of Swords. Your person is really trying to figure out why the devil energy is so powerful. They feel a little bit like they want to detach from it. It also, again, I'm getting card, a card here. This two of pentacles means that your person may be juggling, but they want to throw caution to the wind. The nine of swords says that, again, eight of swords, nine of swords. Ten of Swords. Okay, so here's the good news. A cycle of anguish and difficulty is about to end. The High Priestess. The High Priestess. Both of you want stability. Wow. <laughs> I'm a Gemini and this is taking turns even for me. These are complicated readings this month. This person intuitively knows that they want to have this energy with you, a true love relationship. They want the Two of Cups. The Four of Coins are not really telling you. The Six of Pentacles, again, equal give and take. Six of Pentacles, they want to give you more. They want to stop holding back. That is their fear, is that by holding back and not giving enough, they're not going to have you. Why is the Eight of Swords here for why they aren't coming forward right now? Six of Cups. There may be children. There may be, and this is also, Six of Cups is a soulmate card. This is a soulmate card, the Two of Cups. The Six of Cups means that in, in their lives, that loyalty and growing old, you know, you see the little boy with the puppy and he grows old with a dog. And so there's a concept of loyalty that's keeping this person tied to a situation that is dead. So, and it needs to be cut loose. Why does this person need to have this win with you? Why do they, I wanna clarify this, because in the worst case scenario, that is a notch in the belt, but I don't, this person's in love with you. They are in love with you. They feel successful with you. They want to renew, redo, review <laughs> with you, which is what, ren uh, what it, which is what uh, retrograde Venus is about. All right, a slow walk to a better situation. They're going to do it through work. They're going to just try to approach you. They feel as though you are really losing interest in them. They feel as though you are just saying. I'm done. You're walk they feel as though, and rightfully so, that you, that you are like walking away. That page of swords is Gemini energy and that they are going to be left out in the cold. They're very fearful. This person's a little arrogant, 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, that card is a little bit arrogant, but truly they, they act arrogant when truly they, they think you walk on water. You are their happiness. That is your reading, Gemini. Happy birthday. And um, I am going to look at, pull one card here for what they would say if they had the courage. I can't take this anymore. Uh, so that's what's happened. I'm going to pull two more really quickly here. You are special enough to me even though I told you otherwise through actions. And then we're going to get one destiny card. All right. Friendships. Maybe you'll end up being friendships, but that was the core of the basis of the relationship to begin with. Happy birthday, Gemini. Bye-bye.